What's going on, folks? How you feeling out there, world? I'm doing all right, you know. Got a lot going on, talking about um, Trayvon Martin, you know. People have been really, really going crazy over that, you know. Really going crazy trying to figure out why this neighborhood watch Captain George Zimmerman with the criminal background of beating women. Yeah, he went to jail for domestic violence. I had to put that out there, you know, in case you guys didn't know that, all right? I just wanted to, who the fuck is see people texting me, man? You know who that is texting me? This is my boy right here, he's on Skype. I muted him. He wanted to be loud. He wanted you guys to hear him scratching his beard. You know, let me put my stuff on mute. I'm doing this video alone, buddy. You get your own YouTube account and you make videos for him, but I got this, this is my time. Interrupting my video, you know, it's bad enough. I got my wife right here staring at me like I'm in a nude or something But um back to what we was talking about yet, yeah, man. What what you like these abs and you Come like on, the load of abs. Do your video. Stop, I got I got I got my wife and I got a white guy Pestering me right now, and I've been trying to get this video out for a while, but um no you uh, find a white guy and you're doing a video? Yeah, shit, they know that. That's the, if you want to know the truth, that's my nigga right there. You know, that's how close we is. Do another video. No, I'm not doing another video. I don't hide nothing from the nation, sweetheart. This is actually going on our channel where they haven't seen you in almost a decade. You know, Kevin and Jamika. You know, I wish I could erase that and put Kevin because Mika don't fuck with y'all like that. All right. But uh, no. Let's talk about the situation here. Um, people saying, why are people trying to make this race thing? You know, why are they saying it was a race issue? Well, I heard the 911 tape and I heard Mr. George Zimmerman, the guy with the record of beating women. Yes, you got to say that after you say his name because he was in jail for assaulting a female. You know, we want to talk about uh, Trayvon Martin's past and paint the picture of him as a thug. You know what I'm saying? For the minor shit that he done in his life, which I don't think he deserved to die for. Let's paint the picture for George. He wasn't a model citizen. You know, um, in the 911 call, he was saying, you know, they always get away with this. And he mumbled under his breath, fucking coons. You know, fucking coons. That's an old derogatory word that they used to say to, you know, black people back in the day, if you guys don't know what that mean. Yeah, they called us coons and whatnot. So, you know, he had a chip on his shoulder. I'm starting to think George's wife must have caught some long black dick, you know, from a teenager. And that's probably why he was personally mad at black people with hoodies. He probably walked in while his wife getting buzzard banged. With a dude with a hoodie on and took off running like, you know what, I'm killing the first motherfucker I see. Because make me understand why the neighborhood watch guy walks around his gated community with a fucking gun. First of all, you're not in a small town and you're not white. You know, typically you only see that in small towns. You know what I'm saying? They say it was legally, yeah, that was a legal gun, but you should not be the neighborhood watch captain if you can't defend your own. This was a 17-year-old boy who whooped his ass. Just imagine if you ran up on a strong, muscular brother like me, I would have probably KO'd his ass because he was following me. Yeah, I said it, you know, I, I don't like to get violent, but if I got to, you know, I might have you looking like a jackal and maybe messing some teeth fucking with me. But uh, anyways, I think it was a racial thing. You know, I really think it was, you know what I'm saying? Despite all the shit that I said um, about his wife getting buzzer banged, which I kind of really believe that probably happened or whatnot. But just that statement right there, fucking coons. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, man. You know, you want to offend somebody black, um, you're going to have to try something else instead of calling us coons, you know. Um, you're going to have to probably call us a bitch-ass nigga. Not nigger, bitch-ass nigga. Oh, you'll make a black person lose it. Lose it like a motherfucker. Make them lose it. But I'm about to get out of here, enjoy the rest of my day, talk to my lovely wife. My skinhead buddy over here who's steady texting me. Um, question for this video. What do you guys think um, really triggered George Zimmerman to do this? You know, what do you think it really was? You think it was like a race or racial tension? You think it was... Why are you doing this shit, man? I'm trying to... You know what, y'all? Just tell me what you think in the comment box. Deuces!